debutant Kai Havertz will play up top, as he did so often for Chelsea. Five changes in all to the side that played against Monaco on Wednesday. Bukayo Saka is back from illness, and there are starts for Gabriel and Martin Odegaard. Another new signing, Julian Timber, starts at left back. Kevin De Bruyne is only on the city bench as he continues to regain full fitness. You may remember he was forced off in the first half of May's Champions League final with a hamstring injury. Just two changes to the 11 that lost to Atletico last. 13 starts for Arsenal, Erling Haaland. He has 31 goals in 26 appearances this campaign since coming to English football. A tale of two informed strikers. And friends reunite. Haaland again comes back to Rodri. And Arsenal tying themselves in knots and handing City the first real opportunity of the game. Yeah, his hand goes up. A little sorry to his back foot. Both the 2017 and 2020. And wrestling with Haaland. And Haaland trying to get... It's another decent cross and Saka was... Dead. Good strike. It's a save the keeper should make, but they look good. I'm just about to see it now. a mistake by holding and Haaland will be three here Turner's come off his line brilliantly Haaland's gone for the acrobatic and Tommy Yasu was watching it all certain number of players in each zone at the time trying to stretch the width and the depth of the playing surface to try and overload their opponents but each of them will know each other's tricks we, we used to have zone and it's of matches than Arsenal They may well have noticed the sluggish starts that City have made recently. Tap on the ankles for Jack Grealish, who isn't looking very comfortable. Trossard, Lewis backing off, Trossard, good save. And Trossard so close to getting his first Arsenal goal. Tierney. Partey. Still going, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, it looked like it was arcing in the far corner. And Matt Turner wasn't sure at all. No, certainly had the goalkeeper interested, but it also that man interested because he thought this wasn't far off. Going to get it onto his left foot. From 94 tonight. On a cool Manchester evening. I think I met every single one of them in the service station <laughs> on the way up. Here he goes again, powering down that left-hand side, and Ketia. Well, they've seen that type of finish before. Great run, great run from Trossard and, and Ketia. Back touch there, just sets him up, gets him away from Mares. Lewis out of position, we've talked about his position at right-back. So not too far away from him. Tierney with a inviting pressure from Ketia, and Ortega's got himself in a... Although well, it might come through to Haaland, who's beaten the defender. And it's over the top of the crossbar. Gabriel was backpedalling and didn't deal with Erling Haaland. Well, I'll tell you what, Gabriel seemed to attack quite quickly. Grealish. And that was just a little bit too heavy for Erling Haaland. Oh, good running from Haaland and immediately, as soon as he, as soon as he lays it up. Okay. Forward to Vieira. Well, the referee has blown his whistle and the flag's gone up far side. Saka is saying that he didn't get involved in the play as the ball. The six changes. Arsenal have looked the more threatening. Yeah, I think Arteta will be the please, more pleased of the two managers. You might hear a few. Uh... De Bruyne, oh, it's a teaser. And the keeper came very far out of his goal to punch that. Almost left himself a bit exposed. Had to make sure he got good distance on it. Yeah, he came early. Change, some key personnel at half-time. And I suppose the Rob holding one was predictable. Yeah, it makes complete. Lewis. On the underlap, trying to fire it through the six-yard box, didn't catch it right. And it's into the side netting by the Mancunian. A little reverse ball into De Bruyne, pushed away by Matt Turner. His arm looked OK on that occasion. Reacted brilliantly. And Harlem was lurking. Here's Vieira on the volley. And it came down nicely for him. He had probably a little bit too much time to think about it. Well, take a touch. You've got too much time and it's on the volley. Just take a touch. Feeding Nathan Ake. And finding the corner with a brilliant finish. Only his second goal of the season. 
but he finished it like a seasoned pro in front of goal. Manchester City take the lead. And Arsenal have got to come from behind. Well, the possession had started to tell. Just look at the position. No one gets close enough. Gets the shot away. It's the post. And then Ake passed the ball into the net. And boy, does he do that. He just sees the gap as the ball gets played to him. Round Saliba and into that far corner. You don't need an awful lot of power when you can place it this good. He's just patient. Jack Grealish does well. Two players drawn towards him. There's the space. It's a brilliant finish, it really is. This is the perfect angle. Big goals in big games. Against Liverpool in the League Cup. And against Arsenal in the FA Cup. He's two goals in that penalty area. This is Xhaka, in towards Nketiah, who almost got enough on it to steer it past Ortega, but there was an incredible intervention from Ruben Diaz. What a ball that is. Absolutely. And trying to steam through, here's Saka. Getting to the bottom, Xhaka has shifted that on to Martinelli, but the offside flag is up. Yeah, not ideal, that. Saliba and Haaland in a... Battle and uh, Saliba complaining that his shirt was tugged as Matt Turner clears out on this near side. Alvarez back in again, punch run through the middle of the pitch and looking Zinchenko. He's brought a bit of that. He's got it back again. He's travelled a very long way and it's gone out for another corner. Yeah, he was just looking. He went all the way, virtually to the near post. You're just looking for somebody, and that's the Arsenal players. Goes in towards that near, but he might help produce it. It's aimed towards Enketia. A little bit of loose defending. And Ortega comes to smother once more. Well, okay. Xhaka trying to slip it through. Martinelli oh, might get there, and, but and Ortega was very quick and swift to come and smother. Great goalkeeping. Wow. Someone shot him out of a cannon. Okay, trying to head it on. 